So one of the things AMD announced at CES this year was a partnership with a company called Enmodis on a product called Fuse Drive. And they're advertising it as a way to use the power of SSDs to speed up slow hard drives. And they also announced it as an AMD Ryzen desktop exclusive product. It seems pretty interesting, so I decided to take a deeper look. So how does it work? Does it work? How well does it work? All these questions will be answered right here in this video. So the main use case that AMD talked about was speeding up slow hard drives. So you could add in an SSD, use fuse drive, and speed up boot times, application load times, that sort of thing. Seems pretty interesting. So when I got home, I emailed Inmodus to try to get some more information, and it was actually pretty interesting. So one of the first things I asked was how this differs from something like Intel Optane. And if you want to find out more about Intel Optane, I actually had an interview with Intel a few hours after the AMD presentation at CES, which you can check out right up here. Optane really is a storage technology based on 3D crosspoint technology. It's a physical storage device. Now, in its current form in the consumer market, it's being advertised as the perfect caching solution where you can take your compatible system, plug in an Optane stick, and use it to speed up your drive. Fuse Drive, on the other hand, is a software solution. Another key difference is that Optane and actually any other ca SSD caching technology is a caching technology and Fuse Drive is not. It does not use caching whatsoever. So caching, what it does is it will take a, make a copy of the most used files and copy them onto the SSD or the faster drive so that when you're trying to access them, you can go to the faster drive and get faster boot times, faster load times, etc. Fuse Drive, on the other hand, is a tiering technology. And this is something in Modus wanted me to make very clear. It combines multiple different storage devices into a single data pool, and then it will then tier them based on their speed. So the SSD and the hard drive, slow and fast, all in one data pool. So with cache, most caching technologies, if you have a one terabyte hard drive and a 100, 120, whatever, gig SSD, you combine them, you get one terabytes of total storage. It's faster storage, but it's still just a terabyte of storage. With Fuse Drive, you get your full 1.1 terabytes of storage. All of the storage space is accessed because it's not making co copy, it's actually physically moving the data around. Awesome. So the advantages of Fuse Drive over other softwares are A, you keep all of your storage space, no need to sacrifice anything, and B, it is smarter in the way that it moves things around. Now, another thing I asked in Modis was how it uses AMD Ryzen processors to be more efficient or whatever. And the answer surprised me. It doesn't. Yes, it is smarter about the way it moves things around, but that has nothing to do with AMD Ryzen processors. This is actually purely a business deal and it is temporary. So another advantage that Fuse Drive has over Optane is that it is compatible with both AMD and Intel, old and new systems. But for now, because of this business deal with AMD, it is only available on AMD Ryzen desktop platforms with a B350 or higher motherboard. Okay, great. So all this is all cool, I guess, but how well does it work? Well, I decided to test the product for myself I have another AMD Ryzen based PC. It's actually the Frostbite themed PC that I did. It was a sponsored build from AMD uh, back to celebrate the Ryzen 7 launch. You can check that out up here. So after about 30 emails back and forth with Modus, I finally got it working on the PC. I have the numbers to show you, but first I'm gonna tell you how to get it working yourselves. Now, those of you guys who have seen the Frostbite build, we'll know that it has an SSD in it and that's it. So how am I going to test a hard drive speeding up tool without a hard drive to speed up? Well, we took our family, old family PC. It's an old HP pavilion thing. It has a 1.35 terabyte hard drive. I plopped it in to Frostbite. I took an extra 128 gig SSD, plopped it in, and I was off to the races. Step one, go to modus.com slash AMD. 
There are two options available, Fuse Drive Basic and Fuse Drive Premium. For the rest of the steps, I'll be using Fuse Drive Premium because that's the version that Emotus sent for, me, sent for me to use, but everything should be the same. The difference between the softwares when you're choosing which one you want to buy is that the basic one only supports up to 128 gigabytes on your fast drive and premium supports up to two terabytes on your fast drive. Once you determine which one you want to buy, you buy it, you get an email with two things. One, your license key, and two, a download link to download the software. So you download it, run the EXE, and you install the software. It's a fairly straightforward install. You just keep pressing next or I agree or yes, install, and you install it. At the end, it's going to say reboot your system, reboot the computer. When you install it, it is automatically configured to run Fuse Drive on startup. If you did, if it's, it doesn't run on a startup, you can just go to the start menu and run Fuse Drive from there pretty straightforward. Once you run it, you go to your system tray icon. It's not going to have a pop-up with the software. You go to your system tray, you see the little Enmodus E logo, you right click on it and you con and click on configure Fuse Drive. A screen will pop up. This is where you enter your license key as sent in the email. And then it's time to configure your drives. There are multiple options to choose from, but if you're like me and you're just trying to speed up an old hard drive, you click create bootable fuse drive. You click that. It will then ask you to choose your slow drive and your fast drive. Now, in my case, it had already said that the hard drive was the slow drive because when it was installing and configuring, it did a system analysis and it determined that the boot drive that it was on, the 1.35 terabyte hard drive, was really slow. And when I talk about the numbers, I'll tell you, show you guys exactly how slow it was. So it was automatically set as slow. I saw a 128 gig SanDisk SSD, set it as fast, next, and I said, okay, we're, you sure, you ready to run? System's gonna have to reboot. So you click yes, it has its loading screen, with the bars, it does its thing, reboots, and then you're not quite done. Open Windows Partition Manager, and now this step is when you expand the drive so that it can take full advantage of all of your storage. And even if you don't really want to take advantage of all your storage space, which I don't see why you wouldn't, you still need to do this because, well, I didn't do it the first time I tried and I ended up with missing Windows boot files. It is day two of CES 2018. Now, disclaimer, since my miserable failure, and Modus has actually pulled the software from their site and re-uploaded a new version, I believe it was about a week later. Now this version, they claim, fixes a lot of issues from previous version and incorporates a lot more boot checks to try to avoid similar problems in the future. So, A plus there in Modus? But if I were you, I still wouldn't take risks. I would still expand that drive. So you find your C drive, you right click, choose expand, and from that it's pretty straightforward unless expand is grayed out. But if you're like me, then there is a recovery partition or some other partition at the end of your C drive that's stopping it. So we need to fix that. So you're going to download another software called Mini Tool Partition Wizard. Now, another disclaimer. This software is not owned or managed by Inmodus at all. This is just their recommended software for doing this sort of thing. I've used it in the past and had good experiences and it worked for me for using Fuse Drive, so I would also recommend it. Once you download, install, and open Mini Tool Partition Wizard, you don't need a reboot for anything. If it tells you to reboot, just don't reboot. Identify your Fuse Drive, right click on the rightmost partition that has something, so your recovery partition or any other, I actually have two of them. Right click on the rightmost, move resize, just click it and drag it all the way to the other end, press OK. It should have moved. If you have another partition like I did, do the same thing, move resize, drag it all the way to the other side, okay. Once you're done with this, you should have your empty partition right next to your C partition. So you right click on your C partition, press expand, just max it out, take up all the space available, okay. And then it should say that your C partition is 1.4 terabytes, whatever it is in your case. And then you're not quite done. You need to go to the top left of the screen and press apply before you close out Mini Tool Partition Wizard. It will then take, well, for me, it took quite a bit of time because it was still trying to move with the slow hard drive, etc. So it took quite a bit of time to move all the partitions over and expand the partition. But once it's done, 
reboot your computer, and then you are done setting it up. But does it really work very well? Well, here are my numbers. So for the test I did is I just did a simple boot test. From the moment I pushed the power button to the moment Microsoft Edge opened. For some reason, Google Chrome wasn't installed, otherwise I would have used that. Because I've actually found that the main problem with slow hard drives is not just getting to the logon screen. It's actually once you log on, getting it to a usable state where programs can, programs can actually open and whatnot. So that's why I decided to do from power button to Microsoft Edge being opened. And with this, just the slow hard drive, Fuse Drive was not installed or configured or anything, I got four minutes and 10 seconds to boot. Now, the first run with Fuse Drive completely configured and installed, so after I did the reboot after Mini Tool Partition Wizard, I then shut the computer down, turned it on, that was the first run. I got 44 seconds, so that's already very impressive. It got down from four minutes to 44 seconds. But that's not all. Just like any other hard drive speeding up software or technology, it will learn as you use it. So the more you use it, it will find out what is needed the most on the fast drive and it will put it there. So I rebooted a second time, shut down, start the timer, press the power button, 38 seconds to get Microsoft Edge opening. For the third trial, I got down to 35 seconds, and at this point I figured it was, it was pretty plateaued, 35 seconds. It will probably improve more as you go on, but I decided to end my tests there. That's pretty impressive, but it's also kind of to be expected, and the only real conclusion we can draw here is that Fuse Drive does its job. I had the full storage available, and it brought boot times down to SSD speeds. 30 to 40 seconds, that's normal boot times for an SSD. So that means this is a success. Fuse Drive worked exactly as intended and the results are great. So if you're trying to speed up a slow hard drive and you're on an AMD Ryzen system, I would wholeheartedly recommend use getting a Modus Fuse Drive. You keep all your storage space, it's smart, and it works great. But there are other use cases where you might also want a Modus Fuse Drive. What if you have an SSD and you just want to expand your storage. Maybe you don't want to have to deal with a second hard drive to store your games. You don't want to install them at a different location or move things around. You don't want to have to deal with that. No problem. The steps are identical. You have your SSD, you choose as your fast drive, your brand new hard drive, you just choose it as your slow drive, run it, and there you go. You will have your full storage available. And this time you won't even need to keep rebooting for it to be fast because things will by default be on the SSD. But what if you don't necessarily want to boot a, create a bootable fuse drive? We saw there were other options there. Well, if you want to create a larger, say, scratch disk, but you don't want to spend a bunch of money on a large SSD, you can get an, another SSD and hard drive that are not your boot drive, plug them in, create a non-bootable fuse drive, and there you go, you've got a large, fast, secondary drive. So in the end, if any of these cases apply to you, and, at least for the time being, you have an AMD Ryzen system, do it. Get Fuse Drive. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and a huge shout out to Inmodus. You guys were amazing, super helpful getting all this set up and getting me all the information for this video. I appreciate you guys' support. Thank you so much. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, and if you tried using Inmodus or you're considering using Inmodus, let me know down below, tell me what you think. Don't forget to also subscribe to see more cool videos just like this one, and to follow me on Twitter so you can get the first updates on anything. It's actually about a month and a half ago, if you follow me on Twitter, that you would have known that I'm working on a video on InModus Fuse Drive. Anyways, that's it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.